No American weapon will stop Russia's military operation in Ukraine. Russian ambassador. The U.S. is aggravating the Ukraine conflict by continuing to support Kiev financially and suggesting a course of action on the ground, the Russian ambassador to Washington, Anatoly Antonov, has said. Washington's rhetoric about the need to pour more money into Kiev to help it attack Crimea signals America's direct participation. Antonov told reporters on Wednesday in response to an earlier statement by CIA director William Burns. Additional funds would allow Ukraine to conduct more deep penetration strikes in Crimea, continue targeting the Russian Black Sea Fleet and eventually regain the offensive initiative, Burns told the Senate Select Committee on Intelligence. The situation has reached a point where some high-ranking US officials are saying we need to help Ukrainians strike deep in Crimea. In other words, the direct involvement of the United States in the conflict has been officially recognized, Antonov stated. He went on to warn that the direct participation of Ukraine's Western backers in the conflict is a dangerous course fraught with the most unpredictable consequences, not only for the security of the US but for the whole world. The CIA director's appeal came as the U.S. is struggling to approve a new $60 billion aid package amid persistent complaints from Ukrainian authorities about a lack of munitions on the front lines. While the funding is stalled in Congress, the White House announced a smaller $300 million military aid injection for Kiev the first this year, according to Antonov. With this new package, the U.S. administration confirmed the constancy of its disastrous course of prolonging the military conflict in Ukraine. The United States does not want to understand the simple truth that no American weapon will stop Russia's special military operation. Its use will only lead to an increase in casualties among ordinary citizens of the post-Soviet Republic, he said. French President Emmanuel Macron is a zoological coward. Medvedev. French President Emmanuel Macron has postponed his visit to Ukraine because he is a pathological coward, former Russian President Dmitry Medvedev has claimed. The Elysee Palace announced that Macron's long-awaited visit to Ukraine will take place sometime in the coming weeks. The announcement marks the third delay of the French leader's visit to Ukraine. Macron had initially planned to visit Kiev to sign a bilateral security agreement last month, but the document ended up being signed during Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky's trip to Paris. Macron preparing to visit Kiev, but he's a zoological coward, Medvedev posted in French on X, recommending that Macron's office pack several changes of underwear and prepare for a strong stink. Medvedev claimed that he originally wrote the message in the morning, but by the time he decided to post it, the French president had already shit himself and pulled out of the planned visit. Poor France, he added. Instead of hurrying to Kiev, Macron wants to take the necessary time for talks with allies to be able to visit Ukraine with tangible results, Politico wrote citing an anonymous French diplomat. In recent weeks, the French president has escalated his hawkish rhetoric towards Russia, suggesting in late February that sending Western troops to Ukraine cannot be ruled out. NATO members are seeking to boost military aid to Kiev amid worries that funding from Ukraine's biggest war sponsor, the US, will dry up. Earlier this year, the White House said that Washington had used up all the money allocated to Ukraine thus far, more than $113 billion. An additional $60 billion in U.S. funding is still being held up in Congress, although recently it was suggested that the money should be loaned to Kiev rather than given away. Moscow maintains that Western military aid to Ukraine does little to alter the course of the conflict while extending the hostilities and causing needless deaths. Ukraine's battlefield might be at risk without U.S. assistance, CIA chief. Ukraine could lose significant ground on the battlefield without the support of the United States, according to the CIA director William Burns. Ukrainians are not running out of courage and tenacity. They're running out of ammunition and we're running out of time to help them, he said. Burns cautioned that without additional military aid from the US, Ukraine is likely to lose ground and likely significant ground in 2024. According to him, Russia is interested in a theater of negotiations for ending the war but is unwilling to make significant compromises for it. 
Meanwhile, senior intelligence officials in the Senate stated that since the end of 2023, Moscow has been steadily achieving minor successes on the battlefield and capitalizing on uncertainty about future military aid from the US and its allies. This deadlock plays to Russia's strategic military advantages and is increasingly shifting the momentum in Moscow's favor, they said. The US has withheld military and financial aid to Ukraine for several months as Congress has yet to allocate funds for it. The US Senate passed a bill allocating $95 billion in aid to Ukraine, Israel and Taiwan. However, this initiative faced resistance in the House of Representatives. House Speaker Mike Johnson refuses to bring the bill to a vote, insisting that aid to Ukraine be tied to funding for border security against migrants. According to U.S. President Joe Biden, Washington won't be able to restore aid to Ukraine unless Congress allocates funds for it. Biden reminded that he requested $92 billion from Congress last year for national security needs, which included funds for Ukraine. The request would also allow for significant investments in the American defense industrial base, helping to create and preserve jobs in dozens of states across America. Absent congressional action on this emergency request, the United States will not be able to continue to provide support to Ukraine to meet their battlefield needs as they defend against Russian attacks every day, the president emphasized.